Hi, and welcome to the Space Tech Virtual Learning Center. My name is Al Kohler, and I'm the executive director here. On behalf of our team, I'm pleased to introduce you to a program designed to help you prepare for the Space Tech Core certification examination for aerospace technicians. As you can see, you're in a unique, one-of-a-kind learning environment where you are in charge of the entire process. On my right is a building directory showing the areas available to you. If you click one of the signs, you'll enter that class and we'll meet the instructor heading that area. Hi, my name is Al Kohler and I greeted you when you first entered this center. For the next few minutes, it will be my privilege to provide you with an introduction to the aerospace workplace. 20. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. 10. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Three main engines up and burning. 2, 1. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis, opening a new chapter in the completion of the International Space Station for the collaboration of nations in space. The picture on this slide shows a rocket engine shaped like a cylinder with one end opened, filled with fuel that burns very rapidly to produce energy for flight. The energy is shown as arrows that push out against the walls and nose of the cylinder and the exhaust is carried out the rear of the rocket with the energy released as it exits the rocket. The rocket isn't moving by pushing against the air or the launcher as it moves forward. It's using that basic rule of action-reaction that tells us that the more energy we can generate, the action, the faster we will move forward, the reaction. The best example I can give without dealing with math is to think of a rocket as a rowboat filled with sailors who are prepared to jump off the stern of the boat when you tell them to. As each one dives off, he pushes against the boat and the boat moves in the opposite direction. That's action-reaction. Hi, our goal is to create and share knowledge in mechanics and applied mathematics, which are the essential cornerstones of all the engineering disciplines that exist today and in emerging ones also. Before threading, a foul is used to taper the rod to make it easier to apply the die. External threads are being cut into this rod by using a solid die here and turning it clockwise onto the rod. Machine shop safety. When drilling, Keep your work from spinning. Use a clamp to secure your work, not your hands. Drill the metal out with a number seven drill bit, which is the correct size for this hole. And now she's inserting the tap into the hole to make the threads. She's using the uh, T-handle tap wrench. And when finished, the tap is turned counterclockwise to take it out. A bolt is needed to test the thread.
Welcome to the Materials and Science Laboratory. I'm Tom LaForge, your instructor for Materials and Processes. Welcome to the Space Tech Headquarters Office located at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, adjacent to the Kennedy Space Center. My name is Frank Margiata, and as program manager, I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to provide you with an overview of Space Tech and the Certified Aerospace Technician Program. My name is Jerome Falmer, and I will be your instructor for the Basic Electricity Readiness Review. In this section, we will look at the structure of an atom from the perspective of why it is important in the world of basic electricity. Let's take a look at the structure of an atom. An atom is made up of a nucleus and one or more electrons. The nucleus contains most of the mass in an atom and is comprised of neutrons and protons. The protons are positively charged particles and give the nucleus a positive charge. The neutrons contain mass but exhibit no charge imbalance. The orbital relationships in an atom may be considered to be somewhat analogous to the Earth and man-made satellites, except the attractive forces that bind a satellite to the Earth would be gravitational instead of electrostatic. Satellites are maintained in stable orbits because the centripetal forces due to their orbital speeds exactly balance the gravitational attractive forces between Earth and satellites. My name is Katie Nettle. It is never dull at my job, and believe it or not, every morning I'm happy to go to work. From the ground up, I find aerospace work exciting and fulfilling. More than anything else, this is why I have spent the last 24 years working for non-destructive testing laboratories here at Kennedy Space Center. I am living proof that perseverance and diligence works. <laughs> 